Hey boys and girls, today we're going to finish our story, Afternoon on the Amazon, our Magic Treehouse book we've been reading, where Jack and Annie go to the Amazon and see lots of the creatures that live there and even end up on the Amazon River. Remember, the Amazon is in South America. That's our country we've been talking about. And we've learned in this book that lots of different animals call the rainforest in South America their home. So get ready to make that movie in your mind of all the words you hear Miss Carson reading. Now, some of those words we might not know the meaning of, but we know to look for clues within our story to figure out what certain words mean. And we're going to be doing an activity about that this week, so make sure you're paying special attention. We're on chapter nine, The Thing. Jack and Annie climbed into the treehouse. Peanut was sitting on a stack of books. Annie patted Peanut's little head. Thanks, she said softly. I have to write some notes about the rainforest, said Jack. You find the Pennsylvania book. Annie began searching for the Pennsylvania book, the book that always took them home. Jack pulled out his notebook. He wanted to take lots of notes here, but all he'd written so far was the Amazon rainforest is... It's not here, said Annie. What? Jack looked up. He glanced around the treehouse. Annie was right. The Pennsylvania book was nowhere in sight. Was it here before we left home, said Jack? I don't remember, said Annie. Oh man, said Jack, now we can't get back to Frog Creek. That means we'll be here when the vampire bats come out, said Annie. Something came flying through the treehouse window. Ah! Jack and Annie hid their heads. Thud! Something hit the floor. A red fruit. Jack looked up. The monkey was sitting in the window. Remember the monkey they met a few chapters ago that helped them get to shore? His head was cocked to one side. He seemed to be grinning at them. You're safe, said Annie. Thanks for saving us, said Jack. The monkey just grinned. I have just one question, said Annie. She pointed at the fruit. Why do you keep throwing those at us? The monkey grabbed the fruit. No, don't throw it, said Jack, and he ducked. But the monkey didn't throw the fruit. He held it out to Annie. He moved his lips as if he were trying to say something. Here he is with the fruit. Annie stared into the monkey's eyes. He moved his lips again. Wow, said Annie softly. I understand now. Understand what, said Jack. Annie took the fruit from the monkey. This is it, the thing we need. What thing, said Jack. One of the special things we're supposed to find for Morgan to free her from the spell. Are you sure, said Jack. Before Annie could answer, Jack saw the Pennsylvania book. Look, our book, he said, pointing. We found the thing, and now we can see the book, said Annie. That's the way it works, remember? Jack nodded. Now he remembered. The ninja master said they wouldn't be able to find the Pennsylvania book until they had found what they were looking for. The monkey screeched with laughter. Jack and Annie looked at him. He was clapping his hands together. Annie laughed with him. How did you know to give this to us, she said. Who told you to do that? The monkey just waved at Jack and Annie. Then he turned and swung away out of the treehouse. Wait, said Jack, looking out the window. Too late. The monkey was gone. He had vanished below the treetops. Goodbye, called Annie. A happy screech came from the mysterious world below. Jack sighed. He picked up his notebook. He looked at his writing. The Amazon rainforest is. He had to write something before they left. He quickly added, amazing. The Amazon rainforest is amazing. Jack put away his notebook. Annie picked up the Pennsylvania book. Now it's really time to leave, she said. She turned to the picture of Frog Creek Woods. I wish we could go there, she said, pointing at the picture. The wind started to blow. The leaves began to tremble. The treehouse began to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Chapter 10, halfway there. Squeak! Jack opened his eyes. Peanut was on the treehouse windowsill. We're home, said Annie. Jack breathed a sigh of relief. Annie held the fruit up to the afternoon light. What exactly is this, she asked. Maybe it's in the book, Jack answered. He pulled out the rainforest book. 
He flipped to the pages and he came to the picture of the red fruit. Here it is, he said. He read out loud. The mango has a sweet taste like that of a peach. Mango, hmm, said Annie. She brought the fruit close to her lips. Hey, said Jack, grabbing the mango from her. We have to put it with the moonstone. Jack placed the mango on the carved M in the floor next to the clear moonstone. Moonstone? Mango, whispered Annie. It sounded like a spell. We're halfway there. Two more to go. Then we can free you, Morgan, Annie called, as if Morgan were nearby. How do you know she can hear you, said Jack. I just feel it, said Annie. Oh, brother, said Jack. He needed more proof than that. Squeak! Peanut was looking at Jack and Annie. We have to leave you now, Jack said to the mouse. Squeak! Can't we take her with us, said Annie. No, said Jack. Mom won't let us keep a mouse in the house. She doesn't like mice, remember? In this picture, we can see the M on the floor, so they're supposed to help somebody named Morgan to be free of a spell. They found a moonstone when they visited the ninjas, and now from the Amazon, they have the mango. Both of those things start with the letter M. How could anyone not like a mouse, said Annie. Jack smiled. How could anyone not like a spider, he said. That's different. Annie patted Peanut's head. Bye, wait for us here. We'll be back tomorrow. Jack pouted the mouse too. Bye, Peanut. Thanks for your help, he said. Squeak. Jack put the rainforest book on top of the book about ninjas. Then he pulled on his backpack and he and Annie left the treehouse. They climbed down the rope ladder. They stepped onto the ground. They started walking through the Frog Creek woods. Leaf shadows danced in the night. A bird called out. These woods are very different from the rainforest, Jack thought. There's no jaguars or army ants here, he said. No little monkeys. You know, that monkey was never being mean, said Annie. He was just trying to give us the mango. I know. Actually, nothing was being mean, said Jack. The army ants were just marching. That's what army ants do. The piranhas were just being piranhas, said Annie. The snake was just being a snake, said Jack. The crocodile was just being a crocodile, said Annie. The jaguar was just taking care of her baby, said Jack. Annie shuddered. I still don't love bugs, she said. You don't have to love them, said Jack. Just leave them alone and they won't bother you. In fact, that's true about the whole rainforest, Jack thought. Everyone should just leave it all alone. Who cares if the bugs don't have names, he said softly. They know who they are. Jack and Annie stepped out of the Frog Creek woods. They started walking up their street. It was lit with a golden light. Race you, said Annie. They took off running. They ran across their yard. They raced up their steps. Safe, they shouted together, tagging their front door. So here they are going home. That is the end of our book, Afternoon on the Amazon. What an exciting story that was. I loved it.